As you can see, we are very formal today because we're going to be discussing the royal family and specifically Meghan Markle. <laughs> Greetings friends and welcome. First off, I just want to say my channel is a place for you to be you. Be yourself, be authentic, leave me a comment, talk to me because I'm so happy that you're here. Today we are delving into a topic that um, confuses me. We're going to be putting on the scuba gear and really diving into why we all hate Meghan Markle so goddamn much. Now I just want to say, I don't hate her. I don't know her. And neither do you. Um, I think a lot of humans on this hellscape of a planet have decided that we know people in Hollywood, on the internet, um, even though we, we don't know them. Um, it's this very pervasive problem and um, I mean it could be something as simple as buying avocados and then you're just horrible, you're a horrible person. But I do want to dive into the reasons why this woman is so hated. It's a lot, so I'm only going to be really tangoing with the bigger issues. But just know that there are these trivial things that people rage over on the internet. An example of this is her divorce. Affects no one, it's no one's business, and yet people will scream oh, this from, from the mountaintops in the hopes that Prince Harry might hear and run out of Meghan's arms and into theirs. While researching this video, one of the reasons that I found out as to why she is so hated is because she was an actress, if you didn't know. She played Rachel on Suits for many years, as well as appearing in um, other movies and TV shows. I guess that's a bad thing because... I believe it was looked down on by the royal family because um, I guess being a beautiful, successful movie star is um, Big Bad. I don't think they were so crazy about her being independent and making her own money because then she'd be kind of hard to control, obviously, but that's that's just my take. Another reason that she was reportedly hated was because she is African American. I couldn't find too much on this except that a bunch of um, white people had commented that she basically, they basically demanded that she be called biracial instead of just black. It's just another kind of weird aspect to the treatment that she gets. She actually wrote a whole article in Elle magazine, I believe back in 2016. I'll link it down in the description box. It's actually a very good read. Another reason that people love to hate on her, thanks to the UK tabloids um, that will feed on this until the day they die, is her relationship with her father, good old Thomas Markle. All right, kids, settle down and listen up because we are about to talk history. Megan reportedly began supporting her father financially back in 2018. And this was because he was living off of disability money prior to this. She also alleged that she had taken care of him due to his declining health. Then came her engagement and eventual wedding in 2018 to Prince Harry. And good old daddy Markle was Prince Harry. According to Meghan, he had been taking photos of himself um, and some other ones, but it was mainly the pictures of himself that we're gonna focus on. He was being fitted for a tux for the wedding and he had taken them to a new source in exchange for money. It also came out that straight from good old Danny Markle himself that the photos were staged. Like he had staged it, he wasn't being fitted for a tux. I mean, maybe he was, but it was all fake, it was all staged. And this is a huge reason that people hate Megan. Now in the present, they are completely estranged. But that does not stop good old daddy Markle from going to the press every gosh darn week. Something that you see all the time in these articles is the titles are made a certain way in order to elicit an emotional response from its readers. Like, um, there was this one talking about how Megan didn't call him on his birthday. <laughs> well, my daughter didn't call me on my birthday. Oh, I get it now. Megan is a piece of sh Articles are titled this way so that it kind of forces you to relate to Thomas and thus feel negatively about Megan. Imagine if the article was titled Megan Markle keeps son from his city's grandfather and her husband. Now, this might be kind of hard for you to understand if you're used to like the nuclear family with a mom and a dad and grandparents and 
all that fun stuff. But some families aren't like that. Some families have family members that are completely estranged, and that's really not even part of the family anymore, and that's okay. Because these titles force you to relate to Big Daddy Markle instead of Megan, we also kind of forget that she was supporting him for four years from 2014 to 2018. Like imagine that family member that we all have that you don't really talk to or know that well, but they always DM you asking for money. <laughs> well, I find out that person has been talking behind your back and even saying that you didn't give them any money. Let's move on from good old Daddy Markle and instead focus on the royal family. This is the real big reason that people absolutely despise her and pretty much have deemed her Satan, queen of all gold digging women. So Meghan and Harry married in 2018, thus becoming the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and then entering the royal family. The media has pretty much everyone on planet Earth convinced that Kate and Meghan are bitter, bitter enemies. And it was all kind of started by Meghan giving Kate this inappropriate gift, which was a leather dream journal. <gasps> How dare she? Keep in mind, all of this drama comes from a picture of Kate and Megan at an event where they just weren't talking to each other. Anyway, let's fast forward to this year where Harry and Megan decided to step back from their role as senior royals. This was really when Meghan really stepped up to her role as the spawn of Satan himself, and the general public decided that um, Harry is just kind of over there sucking his thumb. He can't make choices for himself, come on. Keep in mind that Harry's own mother, Princess Diana of Wales, was allegedly conspired against and eventually Alleg allegedly murdered by the royal family. There are even articles discussing the similarities between Meghan and Princess Diana, the people's princess, and how during Meghan's pregnancy, she said that she did not feel protected by the royal family. Now, a smaller but still important piece of the puzzle was Meghan's pregnancy. This was when the people really took out the scope and aimed their shitstorm at her. Weird as this is to say, I'm not really shocked. Uh, becoming a mother opens the door to a lot of shame and criticism, and Meghan was definitely not an exception to this. And then on Archie's first birthday, she actually did a really lovely video of her just simply reading a book to him. The people's response? She's just playing a mom this time! It's, it's so fake. Hashtag so fake. If you need one last shred of evidence that this whole hate thing is embarrassingly pathetic, People on Twitter were seething and raging because Harry and Meghan didn't disclose their godparents to the public? People on Twitter actually had, had someone had written that we are paying their salary and they don't care about us. If after watching this video you still hate her, I got news for you, sister. You don't hate Megan, you hate yourself. So try and be better, okay? Okay. <laughs> be sure to check out my Instagram and of course subscribe to my channel. I make videos every Thursday and Sunday. Other than that, um, I'll see you next week where I'm doing something probably really different, okay? <laughs>